Um, I just had a question from a member, a student, um, and they said they don't have any raw, raw umber, so I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, make a very short video on how to mix it, because if you haven't got something in your palette, um, obviously you don't want to, have to go out and buy it necessarily, or you might not be able to. So uh, this is going to be a short video on how to mix various browns that would uh, be fine, would be useful if you didn't have raw umber. Okay, here's my little palette, and I've got to mix a nice selection of browns. I've got the three primaries. I've got uh, cadmium yellow, ultramarine, and cadmium red. Now I'm just going to mix those in varying quantities. If I want a ready brown, obviously I'd add more red. If I want a more yellow brown, I'd add more yellow. And if I want a bluey brown, I'd add more blue. So we'll just see what we can get from um, from mixing these. Let's start off with some yellow, quite a bit of cadmium red, so we've got a nice orange so again, push the towel over that side and finally add some blue now you can see the blue dulls down the colour significantly and the minute I start putting the blue in we start wor working towards a brown so if I was to go with that colour we've got white and orangey brown, very much like raw sienna, sort of like a dull yellow ochre raw sienna colour. Yeah. So if I add more red to that mixture, a bit more yellow, a little bit more blue, we've got a much more orangey brown. So basically with these colours you can mix any sort of shade of brown you want. Now let's start adding some, what should we put a bit more, a bit more blue in it and see what we get. There's a little bit of blue. That's going to be a step down from that. A little bit more blue again. And now we're starting to get towards sort of the umbers. So if I do a nice big skirt, it's quite a warm brown. So we've got our uh, raw umber here, that's straight out of the tube, that one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see how close we can get to actually mixing that colour. So at the moment I'm adding more blue. So I've got also a very greeny, olivey brown now. So if I put some more red in. A bit more red. Not too much. You see that cadmium red so strong. Now I've got purple. Oh my word. That's okay. There we go. By adding more blue, that's we're almost there. Let's have a look. It's not quite as warm, so maybe just a little bit more red. I think that's not far off you're gonna how good you're gonna get it. It's not gonna be as transparent as tube raw umber because um, obviously you mix combine three colours together. But uh, let's add a bit more yellow and a bit more red, see what happens. Well, I'd be quite happy to replace any of those colours for, for raw umber in my paintings. So if you don't have a tube of raw umber, you can mix, from brown, you can mix numerous, sorry, from the three primers you can mix uh, numerous uh, different browns. You know, it could go on and on. 
We'll have some more red in this one. But really ready brown. Let's go really with the blue. See how dark we can make it. We have a really dark brown. So no need to go anywhere near black in your uh, palette. You can have very colourful. That's just by adding more blue and red. You can go really deep. But without going too much from over, you want to stay on the brown side. But uh, by adding more red and ultramarine blue, we've got a really, really bluey, dark, intense, bluey brown. So these are perfect for your landscapes. Perfect colour mixes, and we've achieved all those colours, just different shades, just out of uh, the three primaries. We're going a bit red again up here. So basically, there's no excuse if you haven't got uh, raw umber in your in your um, palette, but you've got the three primary colours. You can mix pretty much close to it. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, just a quick video, but I hope it was helpful and. Uh, you know, that's what it's all about.